Capricorn, mid-November, 2018. Like I said, this will not resonate with everybody, but I'm hoping I'll get the majority of you. I know Capricorns have <clears throat> been having kind of a difficult time. And the reason is they have that Pluto-Saturn thing going in their sign. A lot of restrictions they feel like. I feel like life is an unfair life is just not fair so let's find out what the income and energy is for capricorn this is a new deck so it's really stiff in the beginning energy it could be suggesting that you're taking too much of offense of something if it's in reverse sometimes it's that you're just putting down um your wands you're not wanting to fight other times you know it could be that someone's over defensive whether you're doing it or somebody else is doing it, it's that the energy is there. In the past, you stopped working on something or something stopped working in your life. That's the Eight of Pentacles. It's in reverse. Could be some of you are exhausted from work also. This is a new Rider White deck I just got. Now, this is my older deck, but it's a smaller one, and I like to use it for clarifying two different decks. It's like asking a whole new question, tarot question. But the Eight of Pentacles is in reverse in the past for Capricorn. Things not working out, and sometimes it's overwork. I need another card to find out. Eight of Pentacles, why you there in reverse for Capricorn in the past? Could have to do with this King of Cups in reverse. This person could be over emotional, or their emotions are just not there. King of Cups could be a water sign or someone taking on that energy. It could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Can I get another card? Maybe this water energy doesn't want to work with you on something. It's all different reasons. Yeah, I don't see any offer in the past of stability. That's the Ace of Pentacles. And it has to like, do with something that is an emotional situation that is not working out to your benefit or you feel that it's not working to your benefit. And it could be that this energy feels this way about you. They're trying to work out something and it's just, a, it seems like they're getting nowhere in the past. Now this is an obstacle. You think that was the obstacle, but it's not. Having trouble carrying a burden, possibly. It's in reverse. Sometimes that means, depending on the card next, that someone is releasing burdens. But it also could be that it's way, really way down. But I need another card to find out. It's an obstacle. Maybe you're not releasing your burdens. Maybe um, there's arguments and, and uh, competition somewhere. And it's exhausting you. With the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles could be you. In reverse. Could be another Capricorn. Could be a Taurus, a Virgo. But it's like independence was almost lost and you're having these burdens and you feel like you got everything coming at you at once so i'm thinking someone is having trouble with a burden they can't release that's the obstacle and so if you want to overcome this obstacle is release these burdens from you you know whatever is bothering you release it now the current situation three of pentacles someone's not working with you someone's not cooperating at this present time, they're not cooperating. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Why are you there for Capricorn? With this happy home situation you want it. Someone's not cooperating with this happy home. See, this is the main energy that I'm asking for, and these are the whys. And I'm asking why is it there? And it has to do someone's not working with this happy home situation. Or, you know, with their happiness, what they want to set up as a happy home. Someone's not willing to work at it at this moment. Or should I say in the middle of November. Can I get another card for the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Wands? We'll see what the final, final outcomes. But it's releasing burdens because someone's not wanting to work with you. Or if you're the cross watcher, this may be your situation. Yeah, there's no... They're not one that offer a passionate beginning. It's like these energies are off. And Capricorn, realize that, like I said, you got that Pluto-Saturn type situation in your own sign, which causes restrictions and irritations. And you, you have to work for everything that you need 
but once you get through it, you'll come out shiny. You ever heard of the uh, expression, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? This is a situation that Capricorns are going through. They're having to battle, it seems like, everything. They have restrictions all around them. And it's like every time they try to do something, it seems like it's uphill battle. So I need another card. What the outside environment or what's coming towards you and it's possibly what's causing all this. We'll see. Again, someone's not willing to work, juggle, uh, work on the situation. Someone's wanting to drop the ball. Someone's not doing their part. They're not working hard enough. They're not trying to uh, rectify the situation with all the chaos going on around them. They just kind of just dropped it. So two of pentacles, why are you there as the outside environment for Capricorn? Because I see that a lot of pentacles here, the high priestess, they're not thinking clearly. Could be that their intuition is off and they're having troubles juggling things, getting things done. Can I get another card? So when I see this three of pentacles over here as a current environment, it usually has to do with more than two people. It's usually three and up. And it's collaborations. Could be, I think a lot of you, this has to do with family and work. Um, can I get another card for the two of pentacles and the high priestess in reverse? I'm hoping the outcome will be good. If it's not, we'll work through it. Two of Pentacles, the High Priestess in reverse. Why are you there for Capricorn? Let's pop out. Someone's not making a decision. They're kind of like stuck in a way. They're just not doing anything to make things work. So the final, final outcome, I'll move these up because I've got a different setup. Someone's not going to make any decisions right now. I don't see you making a decision because you don't like the offers handed to you right now. You're kind of putting things away from you because in the past, you felt like things just didn't work out. It's like every time you put forth effort, it, was, it didn't work out. This is the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups in the upright is someone making a decision, looking at something, in their lives they want to do but the offers are just even though they got offers coming in it's nothing they want so you may be turning down these offers or these options that you feel like are not serving you right now you're just not going to do it not in November anyway and there's a lot of pentacles so I see that this has been going on a while pentacles is a slow energy a stable energy but usually slow coming and there are a lot of pentacles here the cups are not so slow but I don't see you just taking on anything is what I'm trying to say. Seven of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for Capricorn? What's going on? It's not a bad card in reverse. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles because things are just not working out for you. are not going the way you want them to. And it's kind of too slow for you. Whatever is being offered to you, you don't feel like they're um, fruitful in some way. Now, i got a lot of cards here. The Fool in reverse. Not wanting to jump in anything new possibly. And this is someone who's thinking about a situation. They're going to think about things because they're not trusting the offers. Fool card takes things slow and carefully. In reverse, it does. In some cases, it means someone jumps into something and it, and it doesn't work out. But remember, these are the why cards. This is why you're not accepting these offers because things were slow coming, weren't stable, weren't steady, weren't more what you were, was not what you were wanting. And like I said, it's an earth energy. And you got a lot of earth in here, so it's definitely your, your reading for sure. And the full in reverse, you didn't like the way things kind of went out of control possibly. Because remember, these are Y cards. Could have to do with relationships in reverse with the Hierophant, with the Knight of Wands, possible uh, fire sign. This is uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Someone coming back and forth and not knowing. Now, these energies are kind of abrupt this month. For everyone, not just for Capricorn, okay? So it's good to take things slow. Venus is in retrograde. There are a lot of hard feelings. Let that energy pass before you make any decisions. So that looks like what you're doing. You're kind of standing back and waiting 
to see what happens because things are kind of chaotic and the Hierophant reverse has to do with possible relationships, marriage, family not working out, it's a contract's not working out. And we know there's something not working together here, so we know that to be a fact. And like I said, it could have to do with a fire energy or someone taking on that energy, someone who's a bit short-tempered sometimes. They're in the upright. I don't see them as awful people. It's just they have a lot of energy and, and, and spunk, and they say things, and and they're fun to be around, but at the same, same time, things can get a little chaotic with them sometimes. But they're in the upright. They're not terrible people. But something went amiss, something didn't work out, and there were burdens and strife, and and you're just taking it easy and not just making any decisions right now in November. Now, the final, final outcome is you're trying to regain your strength is why. You're trying to get, this strength has to do with courage, getting your, uh, becoming physically enabling yourself to become stronger. Uh, sometimes, if some, in very uh, few cases, is somebody that it, they may not have been feeling well, just, you know, their energy is zapped and they're trying to take that back and it looks like that's what you're doing. You're trying to take your, your, um, strength back your your uh power back and it looks like that's what's going to happen so this is going on if anybody else is watching that has this you know issue with a capricorn is things are not working out capricorn is trying to regain their strength and they will but you got to give them time because right now they're not going to make a decision a sound decision anyway because things didn't work out and they thought it was chaotic and that is your reading now be depending on my health um, I will be back before December, for December's reading. And these energies are constantly changing. It never stays the same. Venus will go back direct. It will come out of being retrograde. But then Mercury goes in retrograde. So the time of that is to watch your words. Everybody needs to. And uh, like I said, I'll be giving a reading then. Talk to you later. Bye.